Space Cats, it's me Jules. Now, here in the UK, every year the RSPB, the Royal Society for the Protection of Birds, do a big garden bird watch and you can go to the website to check out how to do this. But I've done it a few years now, I think they've, this is their 42nd year in 2021 I believe. Birds are something that I've become much more interested in the last few years. If you'd have talked to me about this in my 20s, I'd have probably thought it was a boring thing. It's just like, you know, something old people do. But um, actually, I've really grown to love watching our garden birds and birds in the woodland. So I thought being as we are doing the big garden bird watch this weekend, that I would draw something from my garden. So the sort of things that I have here are, we have lots of blackbirds and sparrows. We've got sparrows that nest in our roof every year. We've got loads of blue tits and um, great tits. And if you follow me anywhere on social media, you'll know that I absolutely love long-tailed tits. And the reason that I love them is because they are really family orientated and they always hang around together in little groups and um, at night time they all bunch together on a branch and whoever is like the top dog of the gang is the one that's in the middle and, and the others, the ones who are kind of lower down on the, on the pecking order, they have to sit on the outside and, and uh, get a bit chilly one side. But they're such lovely, adorable little birds, they've got such brilliant characters. But I thought today that I would draw uh, and actually paint in watercolour a great tit which has that sound, it sounds a bit like if you've got a, if you're pumping up your bicycle tyre but your bike pump is really squeaky it kind of goes <coughs> as you're pumping it and that's kind of what a great tit sounds like so if you if you're out and about in the UK and you think that sounds like someone's pumping their bike up with a with a bike pump that's very squeaky it's probably a great tip. So let's have a look and see how I got on.
If you'd like further artist tutorials, I have a variety of short courses that will help you. There are real-time sessions looking at painting, drawing and marker pens, among others. And if you're keen on producing your own book, there is a more in-depth course on what you need to know about self-publishing a book with illustrations. And that covers making key decisions, how to make layouts and dummy books, rhythm and pacing, as well as several tutorials on illustrating your book, and a look at the tech. You can either hop over to my website or join me on Patreon for more information. Go on, give it a go. If watercolour is something that you really like doing, then you're my kind of person, because I love watercolour. So um, let me know in the comments if there's anything that you particularly like to paint with watercolour. I mean, I do all sorts of things really, but mainly animals are the sort of thing that I love to paint the most and birds but also I use watercolour quite a lot in my children's books when I'm doing illustrations for, for children's books so if you want to have a look at how I do that then have a look at my website julesmarinerbooks.com and if not if there's something else that you really like and would like a tutorial on in terms of different materials or even different subjects then again leave me a comment or pop over to my website and go via my email that's it for this week. Next week I am doing something completely different, but I don't know what it is because it's in my diary which is in the house. Who knows, it might be, I don't know, perhaps I'm knitting a giant fleece for an elephant. I don't think I'm doing that, but you never know. Anyway, I'm off to uh, find out how much wood a woodchuck chucks, if a woodchuck could chuck wood. I'm sure you may know differently, but I think it's about two. See you next time. Nanu nanu!